One of the items I didn't manage to bring back to Singapore was Goan Sausage, a flavorful vinegary pork product that I had the pleasure of savoring in Goa. Here at a restaurant in Goa, we enjoy eating Goan Sausage stuffed in squid. Deliciously spicy and flavorful. So the particular dish I want to show you today is actually the Goan Sausage stuffed in tiny squid. Before we can start, I'm going to attempt my version of Goan Sausage. So this is a cookbook that I actually came across in my travel. And right here is the Goan Sausage. And I look at the ingredients, I have everything at home. So I thought, why not? Let me give it a try uh, and show you how you too can make the spicy uh, vinaigrette sausage at home as well. All right, so this is a mixture of different type of pork. I have pork shoulder, pork belly, pork leon. It's just to give a different texture of the pork, both fat and lean. And the size that we're looking for is half an inch. So that's about 1.2 centimeter. So you can see that when I cut it, the pork pieces keep moving around. So the easiest way to do this, if it's half frozen, it makes this whole process much faster. For sausage, guys, I'm sorry to say this. I know I'm trying to be as health conscious as possible, but definitely make sure you leave in the fat for the sausage. All right, now we have cut the pork into about half inch size. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna salt the pork and let it drain. So let all the water run out. Here I have the colander. I just put it in. I'm gonna put the meat in and then drain it. Cover the pork with clean wrap and place in the fridge to drain. Meanwhile, let's start on the marinade for the sausage. This is my shortcut way of crushing a whole bulb of garlic. So I cut the ends off, both side ends off. And then I take my cutting board. I did this actually on the episode of MasterChef where I had to chop a lot of garlic for the lobster red chili oil dish. And then when I did this, I think I saw like... The remaining spices are fennel seeds, black peppercorn, clove, cinnamon, turmeric, and cardamom with the skin removed. I want to introduce you to Kashmiri chili. So there are two types of spice, right? This type of spice that adds flavor to a dish and they're a type of spice that really burns your tongue. This Kashmiri chili has a unique feature that it adds um, flavor to the dish, but it's not spicy that burns your tongue. In Goa, they actually use this vinegar called coconut vinegar. It's basically made of toddy. Toddy is like the sap of the coconut tree. Here we don't have coconut vinegar. I'm not able to source that. I just use a regular white vinegar I'm able to find in my pantry. Add the vinegar to the spices, then blend until smooth. And that's the marinade for the sausage, ready to go. Before we add the marinade, the pork needs to be sun-dried for at least 10 hours. Check out this Goan sausage in the making. We just sun-dried it for 10 hours. Now we're going to marinate it. Combine the sun-dried pork with the marinade making sure that everything is evenly coated. Transfer it to a clean, airtight jar and top up with a marinade. The sausage is now ready to marinate for at least two weeks. Now let's move on to the squid. You can usually find squid pre-prep at the supermarket. If you need to prep the squid yourself, you can find my tips over on Instagram. I am not sure whether this is the professional way of cleaning and prepping a squid, but this is what a home cook does. The gravy for the filling consists of similar ingredients as the sausage marinade. Very similar profile to the Goan sausage, but it will be the sauces that dress the stuffed squid. In place of the Kashmiri chili powder, we will be using whole Kashmiri chili. These are long, curly, and crinkly looking chilies. Split them open and remove the seeds. Add everything into a blender and blend into paste. All right, so this sausage has been in the fridge for the last two weeks. It smells masala, a lot of vinegar smell also. The base of the gravy calls for onion and tomato diced. Saute the onion until softened, then add the tomatoes, and finally, the spice paste. 
After a few minutes of cooking down, add squid tentacles if you have them and the Goan sausage. Add some water, then cover, allow to cook for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, the sausage filling will be ready. Transfer to a bowl and allow to cool. So now the filling is done and we are now going to take the filling and we're going to stuff it into our squid. Using a small spoon helps with scooping the filling into the squid. Use a toothpick to secure the stuffed squid. I'm reusing back the pan that we used to stir fry the filling. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to add back the filling. I grind it into a paste. Add the stuffed squid to the pan. Then cover and allow to cook for 5 minutes at a medium heat. Open the lid, flip the squid, cover and let it cook for another 5 minutes. Alright, so it's done. You can see the gravy is nice and thick. I'm serving it with um, the go and poi. A flavorful, sharp dish inspired by my travel. Goan sausage stuffed squid is a delightful end to my adventures in India. Very good. Not very spicy, slightly spicy. There's a little bit chewy skin of the squid. And they're mixed with the flavor of pork and onion. I like it.